What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to use the linear app or linear.app to manage your projects and tasks. Linear.app is a powerful project manager and tracking tool that you and your team can use to track your tasks and your projects. First you'll need to open the website that's linear.app and you can go ahead and log in if you do have an account or click sign up if you don't have an account. So I'll click on sign up. You can go ahead and sign up with your Google account, continue with a new email or continue with SAML SSO. You can choose the method that you want. If you do continue with email, you can go ahead and enter your email address. It'll send you like a code to confirm it and then it'll open the website itself. I did already create an account with email and after signing up, that's the screen that pops up. It'll ask you to enter your workspace name. Let's name it new workspace. And it'll automatically generate a URL as you can see in the next tab. How large is your company? Let's say one to five members. And what is your role? I am the founder or the product manager. Let's choose anything scroll down a bit and then click on create workspace. Okay, here it says this workspace URL is taken. So let's name it to new dash awesome dash workspace. Try again. This time it worked and it'll take us directly to our dashboard. You can choose some simple options like the layout. Okay, continue. Enter the email address of your coworkers and send them an invitation. Let's just scroll down and click on I'll do this later. Okay. You can subscribe to change log and follow them on Twitter. Let's click on continue. And then you are good to go. Let's click on open linear. This is your main dashboard here. You have like a to do list with all the tasks that you have entered or you will enter later to further track and manage with your team members. Let's create a new to do item. Click on the plus icon here. Let's name it uh, super urgent task. You can add description and then edit like these settings. You can change the status here if it's a to do or in progress or if it's done, if it's canceled. You can set a priority if it's urgent, high, medium. Of course, this one is urgent. As you might have guessed, it's super urgent. Assignee, so you can assign your members to this task. Here, I didn't add members, so it's only me. So let's assign myself. And you can label it. You can add labels here. Let's add label. This one is for lunch. So I'll need someone to get us the lunch. And let's add this label. Let's choose a color green. And then I've labeled this task. You can further set a due date, link a URL or add a sub issue. Now for now, let's create this task. As you can see here, it is generated at the top here since it's the most recent one. If we click on it, we can further edit the settings and anyone who's assigned to this task can edit it as well. Leave a comment, change the status or priority and assign new people or add new labels. So let's add a comment. Lunch is ready. Okay, looking good. Comment. As you can see, this comment is added. Now we can go back by clicking on active. We can go back to the tasks here. We can edit the view. You have like a linear view and a board like view with like cards. And now each task is a card that you can move to different statuses. So let's drag this one to in progress. You can also add new lists here. So like done and canceled. Let's check the display. You can group by status and order by priority or date or estimated or manually rearrange them. So if we choose manual and we go to this list, we can manually edit or rearrange our tasks. 
also from the menu on the left you have like this this list is in new issues you have also inbox my issues views roadmaps and these are the issues in your new workspace so these tasks are these issues you can try to import issues you can invite people and so on and this section is for your profile you can view or manage the profile settings you can download the desktop app go to help change log documentation and log out and if you go to the workspace name your workspace name and click on it it'll open this menu where you can go to the workplace settings you can invite and manage new members you can create or join a workspace and you can add an account or log out just below it we can create a new issue or a new task to do so if we click on it it'll get you to the new issue pop-up where you can create an issue like enter the issue name and change the status the priority and so on you can also attach files to your issues if we click on this icon here now the inbox tab here contains all your messages or your notifications the my issues tab has the issues or the tasks that you created this these important ones here and as you can see there are many sections assigned as I'm assigned as I assigned myself to this one that I created it shows up here created since I'm the one who created the super urgent tasks it here it's here subscribed and activity the views tab lets you create different views for issues that you want to see and you can filter them accordingly as you can create custom views for yourself and your team members now the roadmap tab here has like a timeline for all the projects that you are working on for your company with your colleagues which is very valuable for you to organize your projects and your workspace now if you want to invite new people as i showed you from the invite people tab here next to the plus icon if we click on it we can invite members with their emails you can enter many emails separated by commas and then space and you can add these members to certain teams so if you have many workspaces you can add these members to a certain workspace or workspaces and after you enter the emails you can send invites and the invites will be sent on email to these members to join your workspace and finally the help and support here gives you many options to help you further learn about the management tools that are available on your linear app so you can ask or search for a certain topics you can go to the docs online docs you can learn about the keyboard shortcuts and the settings you can also contact the linear support here so to ask questions or give feedback and you can join the slack channels and that's how easy it is to manage products with your team members or your company on the linear.app